kudzu bug, it's called Megacopta crebraria, and this insect was not detected in the New World before 2009. In 2009, it was found in nine counties in northeast Georgia. In 2010, we had found it in 16 counties in, in South Carolina, and then by 2011, May of 2011, it, it was entirely uh, infesting the, the entire state of South Carolina. Uh, now it infests, I believe, over a dozen states in the southeastern United States. Uh, it's across the Mississippi River and all the way up uh, to the White House in Washington, D.C. Some of the research that we've been doing here at the Edison Research and Education Center with Clemson University to address kudzu bugs as it relates to soybean production has, has kind of centered on uh, treatment thresholds for the insect, ac action thres thresholds for uh, intervening with chemical insecticides or doing some sort of um, uh, control tactic to, to keep their numbers from becoming and uh, are attaining an economic injury level. So most of the research is centered around uh, developing those treatment thresholds. We've also looked at insecticide efficacy, uh, what materials work on this insect. We've looked at host plant resistant traits, uh, looking for a natural uh, mechanism that the soybean plant has to uh, combat this um, insect naturally, uh, and, a, and a, several other avenues of research. We have seen it take 60% or more of the yield if left untreated and numbers reached um, you know, a, a really high potential in the field. We've seen 60-70% of the yield be taken. So it can be a very important insect pest. Typical yield losses due to this insect run in the 20% range if, if no insecticide is applied to control this particular pest. Um, so that's, a, that's an average based upon a, a range of zero to you know, 80%. So um, there's a wide range there depending upon a lot of different factors. The kudzu bug does have some natural enemies that we're um, starting to learn more and more about uh, which, with each and every year that passes. There is a naturally occurring fungus that attacks insects and it's called Bavaria bassiana. Uh, incidence of this particular disease organism has been very high in the last couple of years. We first detected it in 2011 in kudzu bug. Uh, but as the, as the years have progressed and the uh, number of insects have increased in our system, um, so has the, the disease organism. So thankfully, insecticides are very effective in controlling this, in, this insect. Uh, specifically, the pyrethroid class of insecticide chemistry is effective in controlling it. There are several AIs in that class of chemistry that are, that are extremely effective and, and don't require much um, um, active ingredient to control it. Uh, you get immediate results with the pyrethroids. Uh, it's a contact poison and um, uh, the results are almost immediate. So the next day, whenever the re-entry interval allows, you can check and it pretty much um, you, you get good control of most of those pyrethroid insecticides. Several things that farmers can do to manage kudzu bugs and soybeans are to properly scout the fields. They need to regularly scout those fields and they need to look for kudzu bugs to see if they've got an issue with them. We've seen things change in the last several years on when this insect infests soybeans, so that, that, is, that is rule number one, go and look. Number two would be uh, paying attention to our recommended thresholds. Uh, we do have published thresholds for managing this insect and soybeans, so they need to follow those guidelines for when to apply insecticide uh, controls. Third would be using the proper insecticides. Uh, those will include the pyrethroid insecticides with uh, an example such as bifenthrin, a very active molecule on kudzu bugs. So th those will be the, the top three things to know. Specifically, uh, we recommend controlling kudzu bug at one nymph per sweep using a sweep net or when um, the immatures, the nymphs are easily located on most canopy observations. Uh, and that entails simply pushing back the canopy and looking for these immature insects. And if you find them easily on most observations, that's the threshold number of insects. In terms of scouting, there, there's a couple different techniques that growers can use, consultants can use to scout soybeans, and, and those involve using a sweep net. A uh, sweep net is, is basically a, a canvas funnel on a, on a wooden dowel rod for, for use in, in sweeping soybeans. We have thresholds for uh, kudzu bug and soybeans of one nymph per sweep. Um, we recommend taking a, a 10 sweep sample and doing multiple samples per field to uh, get an average number of, of insects for those, those thresholds.